Welcome to the daily insights that matter. Now, despite all the talks about de-dollarization, it is quite interesting to see how the dollar maintains its dominance on the global stage. Now, one of the key reasons behind this is it's pegged to most currencies and its connection to the crude oil. Now, these factors have solidified its role in international trade and financial transactions. Now, lately, the US dollar has been on quite a winning streak. In fact, it recently staged its most significant rally in three weeks, reaching its strongest position against other major currencies since last December. Now, what triggered the surge was the US Federal Reserve hinting at the possibility of more rate hikes to combat inflation. Now, this move has bolstered the dollar's position, particularly due to the rise in Treasury yields following the Fed's September 20 meeting. Now, as a result, it's been increasingly attractive for investors to allocate their funds into the US. Now, when it comes to understanding the value of the Indian rupee in relation to the US dollar, it's all about the supply and demand dynamics. When there's a surge in the demand for US dollars, it typically leads to a decrease in the value of the Indian rupee and conversely, when demand for the US dollar decreases, the value for the Indian rupee tends to rise. Now, in this case, a stronger US dollar can have several adverse effects on the Indian rupee, affecting trade, foreign investments, inflation and the country's forex reserves as well. Now, according to a recent Reuters poll, India's GDP or the gross domestic product is on track to grow by 6.2% in the fiscal year ending March 2024. Now, that's some impressive growth, making it the fastest growing major economy this fiscal year. Now, looking ahead to the next fiscal year, which is FI25, the projections remain positive with the economy expected to grow by 6.3%, which matches what was predicted last month. Now, it's interesting to note that the forecast for this fiscal year, that is FY24, has quite a range spanning from 4.6% to 7.1% when seen on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis, showing some diversity of opinions among economists. Now, despite a 7.8% expansion in the last quarter, it seems like economic growth is going to moderate a bit. Expectations are that it will drop to 6.4% in the July to September quarter, followed by a further decline to 6% in the October to December period and eventually slow down to 5.5% in early 2024. However, here's something to keep in mind. When economists were asked about the risks to their GDP growth forecast for FY23-24, a majority of them specifically, 22 out of 36 of them expressed concerns that the risks are tilted towards the downside. To keep the economic growth engine running, government spending is expected to play a crucial role, especially with the general election coming up in the month of May. Still, most economists believe that the expected growth is below its full potential. Also, the ongoing dry monsoon season could act as a restraint on the economy, particularly because agriculture employs about half of this country's workforce. So it's a mixed bag of expectations and challenges for Indian economy going forward. With that, this is Raj Mehta signing off, wishing you and your loved ones the very best. Thank you. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app, Informed Investor, to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Equity investments are subject to market risk. Read all investment-related documents carefully. Visit www.researchandranking.com.